Hi, and welcome back to Majora's Mask. In the last video, we faced off against the Skull Kid to stop the moon from crushing us. We went back in time, became human again, and now we're learning a little bit more about the Skull Kid and the Majora's Mask. So it seems a lot like it's kind of possessed him. Like he's not fully in control of the things that are happening. Not that he seems like a, such a great person to begin with. He was pickpocketing people. But now he's no longer in control. And it seems like he's going to use the moon to crush Termina. So it seems like we're being quested to get the mask back. Not sure if we're being sent to our doom. Maybe that's why the mask salesman doesn't want to go on the quest himself. Definitely not the, the character I would trust, that's for sure. So if we go to the swamp, the mountains, the ocean, and the cannon, we can bring someone back from each place and use them to stop uh, the moon from crushing Termina. So we're supposed to start off in the swamp, uh, but before we go there, there's one or two things I want to do in the village still. Of course, uh, the great fairy told us to come back and see her once we have our human form back. And now that we're in human form, we can hit this owl with our sword. Uh, it gives us the option to save. Um, we can do more with it later. Uh, for now, we're just going to be hitting them all with our sword as we see them. Alright, so let's go see the Great Fairy and see what new power she has for us. Oh yeah, we forgot, so because we've reset time, we actually need to go uh, collect that piece of stray fairy again and put the great fairy back together in order to get our next power from her. So just like the first time we found it, it should be at the same place. Of course, not so easy to catch when you can't bounce on the water. Here we go, we got the piece, so if we go back to 
the fairy fountain now, she'll have a new power for us. Still get a little twisted around in Clock Town from time to time. So we will also have to catch the five bomber kids again or find another way to get into the bombers just to get their notebook from them. I might show the opening of that quest on on the video but I definitely won't go catch all five of them on video again since we've already done it once. Okay so like every great fairy fountain uh, she's gonna heal our health back to full. So, this mask will allow us to catch the stray fairies in each of the four other areas. So, ocean, mountains, swamp, and canyon. And that will allow us to put all the great fairies back together and get some cool things from them. Uh, it helps us to find them. It also helps us to reach some that are out of reach. So, it's very important to get early on. All right, so we have some items we can equip now. We can put our Deku mask on and off. We don't get trapped in it anymore. Of course, now my aim is not so good. I think we might actually just be a little too far away. Here we go, so if we talk to them in human form, the quest will start again where we have to find the five of them. If we find them all in human form, then we can join the bombers. Now again, I'm not going to catch all five of them in the video. We're probably going to do a little exploring of Termina Field and probably head over to the swamp in this video. Now there are still a few things I do want to get done in Clock Town. Uh, we'll at least go out into Termina Field in the swamp in this video. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll start the swamp in the next video or if I'll finish off some of the things I want to get done in Clock Town before we go to the swamp. There's definitely a couple heart pieces and a couple masks I would like to get before starting the swamp. And definitely if we're going to the swamp, it would be kind of nice to have the bigger wallet. 
That way we can carry more than 99 rupees. As you can see, all the apprentices are building their bridge to the clock tower again. They haven't run away terrified yet. Of course, we know that they'll never manage to finish that bridge. I love this guard's reasoning. You can't go out in the field because you're a kid. Oh, you have a sword? You're not a kid. So if you pick up a sword, apparently you become an adult in, uh, in Termina. Alright, so straight ahead would be our swamp. Of course, every time you see one of these flowers, you just know there has to be something around um, to make it worth being there. So I always got to kind of wonder what I can fly to when I see them. Alright, so we've triggered a cutscene. I guess this is kind of the story as to how they met the Skull Kid. So they meet him in the rain, they become friends. He carves this picture and then he starts pickpocketing people and playing tricks on them. So onward to the swamp. And you can see Tingle floating around up there. We still haven't bought his map in Clock Town yet. And we'll now have to buy his map of the swamp here. I guess we really can't do that yet with just two rupees, so we'll have to get some rupees and come back to them. But yeah, you shoot them down the same way you pop all the other balloons and he'll sell you maps.
business scrub here. He can't get past the giant octopus. But he will sell us some magic beans if we come back to him with some rupees. Alright, so in this tourist area, there's a photograph contest. We can basically take a boat cruise through the swamp, take some pictures, try and win some prizes. But I think before we can do that, we actually have to go find one of the uh, missing witches from the potion shop. So I think we'll do that in the next video. We'll probably cut things off here before we get too far into it. So as always, thanks for watching and come see us again on the next video of Majora's Mask.